Terry, a lot of our, our customers have asked what you think about Bitcoin. What's your view? Well, I think the eventual emergence of some form of currency which is somewhat more universal than, it, than, than any of the currencies we've got at the moment, even including the, uh, the, the reserve, world's reserve currency, the US dollar, is, would be interesting. A currency that was relatively stable and therefore didn't uh, involve the sort of currency risks that we get in translating business or doing transactions obviously would be helpful in that regard. I very much doubt in its current state of development that Bitcoin or any of its other manifestations of cryptocurrency is that. I mean, the simplest way of putting it is this. You know, I can't remember what's the price at the moment. It was about forty-five thousand dollars when I looked last, which shows you I'm probably out of date. You know, let's imagine that you want to buy uh, my, I don't know, car or something for forty-five thousand dollars, right? And we agree that the price is one bitcoin. I mean, you know, by this time tomorrow, you might pay me twice as much or half as much. I mean, how do we feel about that? Is that okay? Are we prepared to? Take that? It, Bitcoin is a medium of exchange, if that's what I'm describing, you know, something which is universally used, that people all accept, that takes out these, these currency risks and so on. One of the definitions, if, I, if my memory serves me well from studying economics in the long distant past of a medium of exchange, is relative certainty about its value. Once fiat currencies start to have uncertainty about their value, you know, the, the German mark in the Weimar Republic, the Zimbabwe dollar, um, I've got on my desk here my Zimbabwe dollar uh, examples, which I have. Uh, there's a, there's one Zimbabwe dollar, okay, and there's a and there's the ten billion dollar note, okay. They are one year apart, those two notes. <laughs> Clearly, you can't pay with this, right? It's not going to work. And I think Bitcoin at the moment is still in that status. It's uh, and therefore I think at the moment it's a pure speculative asset for people. It's not anything more than that. That's not to say that it or something like it may not become something more than that. I actually think that um, something which had great promise, uh, but has probably been killed, is the Facebook Libra project, which was basically a currency based upon a basket of other currencies, which had quite stable value and so on. There are some things in life you can tell when they're right by the people who are ranged against them. Virtually every government uh, was ranged against Libra because it would, of course, affect their ability to manipulate their currency. It probably means it's something that should have succeeded and maybe eventually will succeed.